We gotta get Dunbar out of there. Big Joe's coming. Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Some major changes have taken place here recently at the Ponderosa. We did something that has been in the working for a long time. With the help of Kevin, Marissa, and Cole, we loaded up Dunbar at the OG and brought him to join Big Joe, Haas, and the rest of the bison and animals at the Ponderosa. We were very excited to bring Dunbar to join the rest of the animals, but our work doesn't stop here. We have our work cut out for us. When you have several bulls at one place, you're going to run into some obstacles and some challenges. And it didn't take long for those challenges to start. What we did was when we brought Dunbar and four of our cows over that was with the Dunbar herd at Mom and Kevin's, what we typically do is release them into one of our heavy-duty corral areas. It was consumed with some of our calves, and so we couldn't release them there, so we released them into what I call the front trap. Basically, right when you pull into our front gate, here is the front trap. It's a one- or two-acre lot. Part of this trap is bordered by freestanding panels, a heavy-duty corral, and then some barbed wire fencing. This is an area where we typically let our calves come in just to graze the grass down and be our lawn mowers. Cora, our buckskin filly, also spends some time out here just to keep the grass down as well. And sometimes we let her out with the calves. So we had to let the four cows and Dunbar into the front trap area on the exciting day that we brought them over. I knew there was a little bit of risk that Big Joe could catch wind of Dunbar and come up to visit the trap. This front trap parallels pasture two where Big Joe and his ladies are. After releasing the four cows and Dunbar into the trap area, we let them settle down a little bit, but I really needed to get them to a smaller pen so we could hold them there until we wanted to release Dunbar with our new plans of putting them with the hoss herd. And then we were gonna take the four cows and put with the Big Joe herd. So all the adults would be together and Dunbar along with Haas would be with the two-year-old females that will be ready to breed this summer for the first time. So we ran into some problems trying to get Dunbar and the four cows into their smaller holding area where they would be left for a couple days before moving them to their new herds. I thought a bag of cubes would work. That didn't work. We tried to use an ATV and I don't like always using the ATV. You don't know how hard you're pushing those bison when you're in an ATV. For this situation, instead of being on foot, horseback would be the best. But Cora's only one year old. She still has a long ways to go before she can saddle up. Cole and I tried to push them on foot, but we could not get them to go to the corral. Ha, 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 ha. Let him chill, let him chill, right? Maya, good girl, stay. Maya. Okay. You're good. Go. Go. Just walk the fence. Just walk the fence line, Flo. I could tell from us pushing them and from just the journey of catching them this morning, loading them on a trailer and bringing them to the Ponderosa, I could tell they were getting worn down. And pushing them on foot gets dangerous, so we just decided to stop. We were going to go ahead and let them rest, but in the back of my mind, I knew that Big Joe could come up to see Dunbar. And he did. Everything we had worked for to try to get Dunbar and the four cows moved came to a screeching halt when Big Joe showed up. Big Joe caught wind of Dunbar and had to come take a look to see what was going on. Along with Big Joe came some of the cows from the Big Joe herd to reunite with Dunbar since being separated, since being separated from Mom and Kevin's at the original place. Once again, Dunbar and Big Joe are coming face to face for the first time in over a year and a half since Big Joe left Mom and Kevin's at their original place. See, this is not the first time Big Joe and Dunbar have met. 
Big Joe and Dunbar actually lived at the original place for over two years. The bad part about this situation, the only thing that was between Big Joe and Dunbar was a five-strand barbed wire cross fence. When you're dealing with two mature bulls, there was nothing I could do at this point but sit back and watch. I chatted with Kevin and Doc Parsons about our strategy on how to bring in Dunbar to the Ponderosa. Marissa and I were trying to decide what herd to put him in. After talking to Doc Parsons, he suggested not to put two mature bulls together. So we couldn't put Dunbar and Big Joe together, obviously. That's when we fully decided to move Dunbar to the Haas herd. But in order for us to continue our goal to get Dunbar with Haas, we had to get Big Joe and his ladies into another pasture so we could get Dunbar and those four cows caught in the corral. After letting Big Joe and Dunbar have their reunitement, I had to get the Big Joe herd out of this pasture. Cole, yeah. Like you I'm just covering your side here. Stay behind you. Right, here. Let's, go. Let's go. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Hush. Come on, Big Joe. Come on. So I hopped in the ATV, grabbed a bag of cubes, and I got Big Joe's attention, along with Come his on. females and a couple of red dogs, and I got them to follow me to pasture three. This allowed me to get Dunbar and his cows separated, hopefully, into a corral. Since we were able to get the Big Joe herd completely separated, and now a pasture between Dunbar and Big Joe, we were able to let Dunbar and the four cows rest and try again to catch him in a couple of days. Well, we finally had a little luck. We left the gate open and poured some cubes out to try to get Dunbar and the four cows lured in to one of our holding pens. With a little luck, Kevin came by, was driving by the Ponderosa and saw the Dunbar herd inside this corral. Kevin quickly snuck in and was able to shut the gate and caught Dunbar and the four cows. Not everything is smooth sailing from here on out. The struggles of Big Joe and Dunbar continue. Getting Dunbar to the Haas herd safely without meeting Big Joe again is continuing to be a bigger challenge than we thought. Just when we thought things were settling down, Dunbar surprises us again. Running out of strategies and breeding season quickly approaching, we have to get Dunbar to the Haas herd. But that's not our only worry. There's more going on at the ranch than we thought. 